Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says everyone, I'm going to be feeding my Parabuthus Pladus Orange Morph today. And um, it's confirmed that she's actually a female, which is some fantastic news. But before I give her a feed, um, yesterday I did that video of um, giving my female and male Hot and Totter Sally a feed. And I actually noticed that she could be actually gravid. So what I did yesterday, everyone, I actually um, spoke to a couple of, of my friends that live in Germany. And they're actually scorpion breeders. And I actually get scorpions from them. And I showed them uh, a picture of my um, Hot and Totter female. And this is the actual picture that I actually sent them. So everyone, that was the actual picture that I actually sent to a couple of friends. And you can see where the tongs were. You can see them um, yellow balls inside of her body. Well, the actual fantastic news I've got everyone, that she is actually pregnant uh, or gravid. So yeah, some fantastic news. Um, my two friends said that she's 100% gravid. And they actually could see the actual um, yellow balls inside her. So they're actually babies. Um, scorpions don't actually lay eggs. They actually give birth live. So if she does actually uh, start to give birth live, I'll press record. Or if I do miss the uh, live birth and there's some babies on her back, I'll press record again. Because um, I've actually had a female that um, gave birth before. I had a... Um, a scorpion called Babacurius witness. It was going back about three years ago. And she was actually um, gravid. She was wild caught. And um, yeah, one day I noticed that she had um, scorpions on her back. And you have to wait for the scorpions to leave the mum's back. And once they leave the mum's back, you can actually separate the uh, scorpions from the mum. And then give the scorpions a feed. Um, you're not supposed to give the mum a feed while she's... Uh, got the scorplings on her back um, it's best to wait until the scorplings have all removed from her back uh, separate the scorplings then give mum a feed so yeah I've got a little bit of experience of how to look after her uh, scorplings so in the next probably hopefully two or three weeks we can see some babies and um, yeah that's some fantastic news there guys so I'm gonna stop waffling on now <laughs> So yeah, let's take the enclosure off the shelf and give my Parabuthus pladus a feed. So everyone, there is my beautiful female Parabuthus pladus orange morph and she's got a, a fantastic tail. So I'm going to get a red runner and give her a feed. I don't really want to stress her out too much. I'm going to tongue feed her the meal. So here goes everyone. Let's see if she's hungry. There we go. Sometimes you can uh, tongue feed scorpions. There's no, I don't see any any harm in it. Not all the time, obviously. Uh, just once in a in a blue moon, as we say in England. Just in, once in a while, um, just give it a uh, a tongue feed. If I remove the hide when she was on it, it might have stressed her out a little bit, or it might have scared her. So I thought I'd just uh, tongue feed her instead. But um, yeah, as I said earlier, I'm fan really, really happy that uh, my hot and totter Sally female is actually gravid. Some fantastic news. So I'll be, um, if everything goes okay, I'll be selling the, the little scorplings at uh, £5 each. And um, unfortunately, I can only ship out in the UK. I can't ship out overseas, unfortunately. But yeah, like I said, five pound each for the um, for the baby hot and tight scorpions when they decide to uh, hatch and um, come off the mum's back and they've had a feed and all that. So yeah, some exciting news there, guys, for my lovely subscribers. So as you can see, the power booth has stung her meal, and I don't think the. Uh, the roach has got much life left in it at all. Looks like it's uh, dead already. So it just shows you how strong their venom is. So yeah, I'll leave her for probably around about 10 or 15 minutes. Let, all, let her settle down. 
and start eating her meal and uh, I'll get back to you soon everyone so everyone there you go I've left it for about 10 minutes and she's just settled down in the corner of her enclosure and you can see that she's eating her meal now and they always seem to uh, go for the head first scorpions do so yeah um, she doesn't really disappoint really she's always seems to have a really high appetite she ain't very big she's only probably around about two inches if she stretches her tail out so she's still got a plenty uh, of more growing room to do As I said, you can see the fantastic stinger and some beautiful colours on her. It's really, really dark on her body and it seems to go lighter as it goes further up onto her tail, her colours. So, yeah. I will be getting some uh, different inverts from the British Tarantula Show next month. And uh, I'll, get, I'll be getting a few other bits as well some live food and uh, I'm going to be buying a new enclosure for my beautiful Parabuthus Velotus Orange Morph fe uh, female scorpion I'll be getting her a new enclosure because she deserves a nice larger glass enclosure and I'm going to try and buy some of them African predatory beetles as well see if any of them are at the show that'll be my main concern when I'm actually there is them African predatory beetles so yeah she's uh, eating her meal perfectly fine and uh, I'll get back to you soon everyone so everyone I've left it for a, a while and uh, as you can see she's at most of the head it might take her a while to eat this uh, meal because it is a fairly big meal for her so yeah I'll leave her to continue to eat her meal and uh, thanks for watching everyone